Yo, die dag. My phone started to ring at quarter past three in the morning. There was about to be trouble in Stanford. We are flooding. And I can't swim. And why is water? Never, ever did we anticipate that it would rise that high and that quickly. There was a sea outside a lake. There was no network, there was no electricity, there was nothing. You cut off. They're stuck in their house and you don't know if they're out yet, if they're fine. We've got kayaks. Can't we row out? As we got out the gate, we heard the kids screaming. Kayak capsized. So to reach there's a vehicle floating. It hit us, it just, it just took us. The youngest one got swept away and managed to grab onto her sister and hold onto a tree. Where that vehicle came down Silly Street, there's a tree. Car hit it on the back and we got lodged there. They formed this human chain. That is very symbolic of the way the community pulled together. You know, I'm just alive, I'm just thankful. Ulrich and I already throwing children over fences, trying to get them out. The water was still rising and you could hear the boats in the streets. That's the first thing I thought. And the rescuers are absolutely phenomenal people. <laughs> we were all in the mud together. So those differences are sight to see. This little town will survive this. In by such a place as this, flood, then stand all by each Christmas will always be a special time. It's family. It's friends. It's celebrating life. What does us as a gemeenschap? Not one day, all of that day, each one at the table eat, make it back to, and all sit there that day on. What keeps it all together is love, and people forget that. And that's where the real healing happens. The human chain that's pulled us out of the water, the human chain that's holding us together. This little community is very strong. Just shows us how people can work together. My wish would be that we remember that, and that we are one. <laughs>